The debut of the KTM 1390 Super Duke R as the flagship of the Austrian company's 2024 lineup never left much doubt that other models featuring the old 1290 version of the LC8 V-twin engine would be hot on its heels with similar revamps. Now the next KTM 1390 has been seen on test, the 1390 Super Duke GT. We've already ridden the 2024 KTM 1390 Super Duke R, powered by the same engine that will be used in the GT model. TM. Before we get too deep into the details, let's remind ourselves what that 1390 engine entails. First up, like most KTMs, the number is only a vague approximation of its actual capacity. The 1390 motor measures in at a genuine 1,350 cc, and since the smaller 1290 motor is really 1,301 cc, the increase is just 49 cc, less than half as much as the engine designations might lead you to believe. It's achieved via a 2 mm increase in bore, up from 108 to 110 mm, combined with the same 71 mm stroke as before. Conversely, the performance increase of the 1390 engine is more than you might expect from such a small change, with peak power upped from a claimed 177 GP to an impressive 188 GP. That's largely thanks to the company's new variable valve timing and lift system, which is similar to BMW's shift cam, and the system used on several Audi cars. It works by sliding the intake camshafts laterally during operation to bring a second wilder cam profile into action when the ECU decides it's necessary. The change increased the engine's peak revs from 9,500 to 10,000 revolutions per minute and brought an increase in torque from 103 to 107 lb-f at. Historically, the Super Duke GT has had the same engine tune as the Super Duke R, so it's no wild leap of logic to assume the same will apply to this new 1390 Super Duke GT. The 2025 KTM 1390 Super Duke GT's brakes look up to any task. Bernhard M. Honus slash BMH images. A bigger change, at least from the GT's perspective, comes in the chassis. The current 1290 Super Duke GT is still based on the tubular steel frame from the pre-2020 1290 Super Duke R, not the latest version. It's a much more substantial looking trellis that puts less emphasis on using the engine as a structural component. For the upcoming 1390 Super Duke GT, KTM has finally decided to adopt the 2020 and on Super Duke R's chassis, which is around three times as rigid as the earlier design, while helping slice around five pounds from the bike's weight. As well as the new mainframe, the 1390 Super Duke GT gains a cast aluminum subframe again mirroring the changes made to the Super Duke R from 2020. The subframe isn't simply carried over from the R though, as the GT needs more pillion comfort and luggage lugging capability, so it gets its own unique casting. Below it, there's the same updated single-sided swing arm that debuted with the Super Duke R's 2020 revamp, and the suspension appears to be the same electronically adjustable semi-active third gen WP Apex kit that's used on the current 1390 Super Duke R Evo. Similarly, the Brembo brakes and the wheels are straight carryovers from the Super Duke R. When it comes to styling, KTM has long concentrated on distinctiveness over delicacy, often opting for brutally sharp creases and unusual proportions and shapes. The 1390 Super Duke GT is no exception, and if anything, ups the ante with a confusing combination of angles and flat planes in the styling. The matte black finish of the prototype means those shapes evoke the F-117 Stealth Fighter, but a less charitable view might be that it looks like the low polygon count graphics from a PlayStation 1 game. Up front, the headlight is a development of the idea used on the latest Super Duke R, with LED running lights mounted in floating panels that bracket the main lamps. At the back, even the passenger grab rails follow the sci-fi theme of the rest of the styling, looking like something that should be sprouting from a Star Destroyer, or the sort of boomerang TV antennas seen on 1980s limos. Given the near-finished appearance of the bike, and the fact that KTM is known to be preparing a new sport tourer as part of its 2025 model range, we can be all but certain that the 1390 Super Duke GT will make its official debut sometime between now and the end of this year as a key component of the company's 25 lineup. Beyond that, it doesn't take Nostradamus to see that the Super Adventure is also likely to be revamped with the 1390 engine, and we already know that a high-end Brabus 1400R is in the works as a successor to the Super Duke R-derived 1300R.
Combine all those with an array of new 990 models derived from this year's 990 Duke Parallel Twin, and it's clear KTM is going to be busy with new model launches over the next year or so. Introduction to KTM and the Super Duke GT Begin with an overview of KTM as a brand, their history, and their place in the motorcycle market. Introduce the Super Duke GT series and its significance within KTM's lineup. Evolution of the Super Duke GT Trace the evolution of the Super Duke GT series from its inception to the current model. Discuss major design changes, technological advancements, and performance improvements over the years. Spy shots and speculation. Provide an overview of the spied images or information available about the 2025 model. Discuss any visible changes or features hinted at by the spy shots and speculate on what they might mean for the new model. Expected features and specifications. Based on industry trends, KTM's previous releases and any leaked information, speculate on the features and specifications of the 2025 Super Duke GT. This could include engine performance, chassis enhancements, electronics, and ergonomic changes. Comparative analysis. Compare the rumored features of the 2025 Super Duke GT with its competitors in the sport touring motorcycle segment. Analyze how it stacks up against models from other manufacturers in terms of performance, features, and value. Impact on the market. Discuss the potential impact of the 2025 Super Duke GT on the motorcycle market. Consider how it might influence consumer preferences, competition among manufacturers, and technological advancements in the industry. Rider experience. Interview current Super Duke GT owners or motorcycle enthusiasts to gather insights into their experiences with previous models. Discuss what they appreciate about the Super Duke GT series and their expectations for the 2025 model. Future of KTM. Explore KTM's broader strategy and goals for the future. Discuss how the 2025 Super Duke GT fits into their product roadmap and their plans for innovation and growth in the motorcycle industry. Conclusion. Summarize the key points discussed in the article and offer final thoughts on the significance of the 2025 Super Duke GT for KTM and the motorcycle market as a whole.